Hey guys, it's Julia here and I'm back with this computer. I have not touched it at all since I made the last video. So now I'm going to actually try and do the Toshiba recovery because I want to see if I can make recovery discs so that I can then completely wipe the system clean and use the recovery discs because I actually would like to have a factory install on this just to see what it's like and stuff, but I still need to be able to deband the drive. So I'm really hoping that after I restore it, I can possibly make some recovery disks and then wipe the drive afterwards. So that way none of the data is still here. Plus if I want to replace the drive with an SSD, I want to be able to have like the factory recovery. So I'm going to move this keyboard out of the way for a minute because I need to power on the computer and I'm going to push F8 because the way to restore this, um, doing research, you have to go to the repair your computer thing and do it from that. So that's what I'm going to be doing in this video is restoring it. So we're on the options and we're, it's on repair your computer. So I'm gonna do that. Now, obviously we're not gonna actually do startup repair, but I'm going to recover the computer is what I'm going to do. So that's what we're gonna do in this video. Hopefully we get this working. Oh, it's loading. I actually think this is not a bad system. I actually didn't look at the exact specs. I know it's an i3, but I don't know what generation it is. I think it's a third or fourth. Actually, I think it's a third or a second maybe. I better not show that. Okay, Toshiba Recovery Wizard. What is this? Let's go to the Toshiba Recovery Wizard. Oh, warning. So when the, when, when, when the recovery is executed, all data will be deleted and rewritten unless recovery of factory default software with users data option is selected the next step. Please plug in the AC adapter and it's telling us some information about the system. Yes. Restore or recovery of factory default software, restored out of box state, recovery of factory default software with user's data. We do not want to do that. But if we erase the data, it's not gonna recover the computer and it's probably gonna delete the partitions and I don't want to do that. So we're just gonna do the first option because I'm hoping after I restore it, I can make recovery disks so then I can wipe the computer. So recovered out of box state system recovery options are included. Recover without changing the hard drive partitions or recover to a custom size partition. Uh, probably the top one. Recover to out of box system reco recovery options are included. Recover recovery of factory default software. All partitions will be deleted and you'll lose all data on the hard drive. Are you sure you want to continue? Please press next to start the recovery. Next, I want to do this. Initializing the partition, please wait. Okay. This is interesting. I don't think I've seen this before. I have not recovered a Toshiba and I don't even know how long. So this is going to be interesting to see a Toshiba recovery. It's been quite some time since I've ever done a Toshiba recovery because I used to have a Toshiba laptop and I did recover it at one point. But I don't remember. I'm pretty sure I did use the recovery discs though. I just left the settings default because I wasn't even sure what settings I'm supposed to do. I hope I did the right ones. Hopefully it'll keep the recovery partition with the one I did. I'm not sure. I'm pretty sure this computer was recovered back in 2014, but I don't know what options they used. So, we'll see. Then again, what if it was recovery disks? I really don't know if it was the partition or if it was the recovery disks. I don't know how they did it. So I kind of just had to pick what I think would work. Although it shouldn't erase the partition because it's recovering from it. I mean, I hope. I set it to out of box state, so it should be right. It probably will redo the main partition. I think the other option that said, don't change the partitions meant it would keep the same partitions. But I think recovering to out of box state would just reset the Windows partition. Probably delete it and recreate it is probably what it means. 
it probably will keep the recovery, but we will be sure to check that. It's still doing this, so I will give it time and I'll come back when it, I see a different screen. Okay guys, so it was just copying files and now it says now recovering, please wait. And there's a timer there. So it is restoring the system to factory settings. Um, hopefully this will keep the recovery partition. We will find out though what this process looks like because this is new to me at least. It's kind of strange. So I'm just gonna let it do its thing and I'll come back. So guys, we are at the very end. We are at 99% right now. It's elapsed for 21 minutes. This has been going for quite some time now and we're gonna see what this recovery looks like. And this is actually pretty interesting because seeing an old Toshiba recovery is actually kind of interesting. So we'll see what it does when it gets to the end. We'll see what happens. It'll, it'll probably say it's done or something. Although it says there's still it says there's three seconds left and it's been over three seconds. It's been 30 seconds now. So I guess that time is a bit off. As you can see, time is definitely a bit off, but we'll see what it does. I wonder if this is normal or if this is a bad thing. I hope it didn't fail because it's like stuck still. It's not doing anything. Still at 99 and we still have three seconds left. Oh, what is this? Now creating CRC file, please wait. What is a CRC file? I actually don't know what a CRC file is. If you guys know what a CRC file is, leave a comment because I actually have no clue. Although that's pretty interesting. I guess it's not done yet. I thought it was done. Well, I guess we'll be back after this. I don't know how long this takes. I have no clue. Still creating, but we have a remaining time here. It takes about six minutes, it seems, to create a CRC file. So I'm gonna let this run and I'll come back. Okay, it just, it just finished because it just closed. I don't know what it's doing now. It's just sitting here and now I don't know what to do. Oh, recovery complete. Please press finish to restart the computer. Okay, let's do it. Let's see what this looks like and what it does. Toshiba. Windows is loading files. Uh, is it supposed to do that? I don't know. That's normal. I mean, I've not seen that before. That's kind of weird. What is it doing? Uh, is this normal? Initializing the partition. What? It restarted again. Starting Windows. Okay. Didn't say Windows is loading files this time. So I think it is working. Yep. Setup is updating registry settings. So the computer was reset. Setup is starting services. Setup is installing devices. Well, looks like it's just going through the normal phase that it normally does. Like on a Windows installation, it usually does this on seven. We'll see what it does after. I'm probably gonna keep this computer as my Windows seven system. However, I am gonna try and make recovery media so then I can wipe the drive thoroughly. And then afterwards use the recovery media to reinstall Windows back onto the system again. I might even grab another drive instead of the one that's in it. I don't even know the health of this drive either. I don't know if it's failing or anything, which I will check. Setup is applying system settings now. I should have hooked this up to a capture card to be honest, since this computer doesn't have a screen anyway, but oh well. Maybe I'll do that with the recovery disc video. Maybe I'll make another video on that. Setup will continue after restarting your computer. So it's gonna reboot the computer again. I don't even know the exact specs. I know it's an i3, I think it's a second gen. And I think it has like three gigs of RAM in it. Unless it was upgraded, which I'm not sure. 
Setup is repairing your computer for first use. Okay. Oh, there's a mouse in the top. Oh boy, there's definitely no drivers and it's logging in already. I think it's gonna do some kind of thing. Cause um, I was told that Toshiba's start installing stuff after it boots into Windows. Yup, it's in sysprep. Would you look at that? It's gonna start doing something. I'm not even gonna touch it. Yup, there it goes, configuring system. So now it's just doing this. I still have the mouse, but it's configuring the system now. I'm not gonna probably show all of it in this video because I'm probably gonna do a follow-up video to this using a capture card next time and, and um, time-lapsing the whole process. It's a lot easier to do it that way. Oh, Windows Virtual PC, what? Okay, so now it's gonna install like 55 things. I'm not gonna bother showing this entire process in this video. Windows XP mode, that's interesting. Um, I will show you guys this in probably a future video. So I'm gonna pause this um, until it finishes all this. So after it installed all that software, which is probably like 30 minutes or so, it says it's now rating system performance. So I'm just gonna wait for this. I'm gonna see what it does after, but we should be getting close to it being done, guys. So, yeah. Okay, guys, so it says processing cleanup phase sysprep plugins. So I'm guessing that it had finished and now it's um, finishing the sysprep and it's probably gonna reboot into a setup now. So I'm assuming that we are pretty much done with the recovery, which took a while actually to do. So, starting Windows, we'll see what this looks like. Setup is preparing your computer for first use. And there we go. So we are on a Toshiba screen. Um, what am I gonna name this? I'm just going to name the user Toshiba and leave it as Toshiba PC because I'm most likely not going to keep the install as I'm going to want to make recovery disks. And yes, it is Service Pack 1, so that's a good thing. I'll have the updates ask later because I'll probably need to install the update to fix updates. I'm going to skip the Wi-Fi for now because to be honest, I'm probably just gonna go straight for creating the recovery media, or, or, or recovery media, I should say, except I need to look for some discs. I don't know if I have any, I might need to buy some. And you can see the default Toshiba background. Preparing your desktop. I actually miss Windows 7. Windows 7 was a really stable operating system, very simple very easy to use but now it's ended support which is sad this should be easier to update because it's sp1 however as i said i'm gonna try and create recovery media if i can i'm hoping it kept the recovery partition because the toshiba recovery was a bit confusing and on its wording really the thing that confused me was the partition thing because the other one said to keep the partitions i'm wondering if doing the first one even kept the recovery or not. Then again, if it was restoring to when you first got it, it technically should. This takes a while. Oh, there we go. So this is what the factory install looks like. Wow, that Chrome is old. Oh my. It's actually not bad. The background's cool, actually. I've never seen this before. This is an interesting background. Let's see if it kept the recovery partition because that is the very important thing. I don't like this mouse at all. And it did keep the recovery partition. As you can see, it is still here and it kept the drive label. So that is a very good thing. It did restore and we do have the recovery partition and the drive definitely 
has more free space than it did before. So we know there is no more files on here. Best Buy, you. Toshiba, let's see. Utilities. Let's see if they have any utility to create discs. What? Auto check features expired. Okay. I'll have to look around and see if I can find an option for it. It could be disc creator, but I don't know if that's to create recovery discs or if that's to create normal discs. Let's actually click okay on that. Let's go to the Toshiba service station. What's my Toshiba? Oh, great, scroll back down, go back down. Recovery media creator, okay, good. So we can create recovery disks, I will be doing that. Um, I might do it in this video or I may do it in another video, but I'm gonna stop the video for now. I'll look for some disks in a bit and we'll see if we can use that. Anyways, I'll be back.